enjoyed the finest of railway transportation in Nigeria but as of this age we are still trying to enjoy the leftovers by 2013 the Nigerian railway network was between Lagos and Kano passenger trains took 31 hours to complete the journey at an average speed of 45 km per hour the Nigerian Railway came into existence on October 1912 when Frederick Alugad merged the pre-existing Lagos Government Railway and the Barokano Railway to become the Nigerian Railway. Hello automobile lovers, I am Latifat Ajao and you are most welcome to yet another adventurous episode of your best rated automobile and safety TV program, Auto Experts, your guide to your safety. Did you know that the dashboard was originally a wooden piece attached to the front of the horse-drawn carriage to prevent mud from splattering on the driver? The history of transportation is largely one of technological innovation. The differences in transportation during the medieval and present times is so glaring. Advances in technology have made it possible for people to travel further, explore more territory, and expand their influence over larger and larger areas. As a matter of fact, the story of road transportation back in the days was quite disheartening due to ignorance, priority, or what one would describe as superstition. Back then, it seemed relatively unimportant when it comes to road safety compared to other issues like hunger, educational, financial, and economic resources problems. The level of public ignorance of the causes of traffic accidents and crashes grew so high as people continually attributed the cases to either the will of God or evil spirit rather than looking in the scientific angle to cut the menace. However, noteworthy is the achievement of the FRSC since inception of the present Director General, Boboye Olayemi Oyeyemi. He is the first to go from the ranks to head the commission. The FRSC boasts tax road safety officials on professionalism and integrity, charge motorists to be of good conduct while on the highways, and most of all, road accidents and crashes have reduced drastically. This, I must say, is a landmark effort by the FRSC. Hey guys, it's your girl Zani Shale, all the way from the warm heart of Africa, Malawi, Jepadzuaja, Malawi. You are watching Auto Experts. Did you know that using the wrong engine oil can actually knock your car engine? Are you in the habit of buying cheaper oils or neglecting manufacturer specifications? Did you know that all models of vehicles have different oil specifications? To know more about vehicle lubrication and lubricants, watch your best rated automobile and safety TV program or to expat showing on digital and terrestrial TV. To get times and stations, follow us on Facebook at Auto Expert Pro, on Instagram at Official Auto Expat and on Twitter at Auto Expert Pro. Yeah, as you all know, I go by the name C to the D to the Q, aka T Master Crab Soldier, aka General Request Number One Soldier, at least, aka Wuss on the streets, aka Wobi, aka Indomie Indom Master, as you all know on the street now. Welcome to Auto Experts, you know, at least, you know, we talk about safety and everything. <laughs> you can imagine myself then when I was in school. You know, like most of my friends will come to school with cars and I, you know, I'll be like, man, God, when am I going to ride a car in my life? You know, but one thing in life is that, you know, whatever will be, will be. It's just for you to always stick to what you know how to do the best. So that's how it is. So I never expect this coming so soon. You know, it's just the grace of God in there and my hard work and the belief I have in myself, you know? So everything is like you know, it's like dream, like like wow. So I can actually drive all these things. You get, there's something I actually crave for when I was younger and when I was in school. 
So I never thought it's coming so fast there. So, so, so that's just, I'm just happy everything is coming. So, so just like um, a motivation for me to like let people out there know that anything is possible. Okay. Yeah, so whatever you can just keep believing in yourself, keep doing the best, bring the best out of you, you know. Okay. One day everything will pay, even just like when it starts. Just from one day you forget like years of suffering. Suffering you know before. Short time, a bit. Any terror quality touch, a bit. But but when we take that gem, I know. But I let be. Shara sang a rupu to my jay, I know be poor be. Arab be a sofa, I hate that scam a shabby. I'm a car freak though. Yeah, so I drive different kind of cars. No, look, some cuts of my company, some cuts of myself, some cuts of my fucker, my producer. What is that? This is a Camry, 2012 model. No. And it's the one behind it, it's in Jura, mm -hmm. 2010 model. The other one on the other side of the road, high in that accent. Mm -hmm. Another one is Mazda, Mazda 3. So that's it. So I don't drive beyond 40 to 60 when I'm on, when I'm in the wooden town, you know. But when I'm traveling, probably like 100 or 80, so I'm okay. Mastercraft on the beat. Whoops. For the fact that you're driving and you're a driver and you are a law abiding citizen, so you need to be very careful with everything around you, you know, environment. So when I'm driving, even if I'm driving on the way, there's ways that I don't even understand. I don't know anything about. I think the legal state governments. I mean, almost every street and every highway and town and everything, they put a sign that would let you know this place is not meant for your town. You have to take the next street. Like, okay, you're going to a certain place, you have to maintain your right lane or something. So that's so it's very necessary and essential you you observe on driving lane, um, lane and other signs when you're driving. So I keep to it. You can take the world, just leave me and my baby. Tell it, tell any man just feelings me safe. But now that I got you, I swear no more me. Left to me, I would say, um, you know, some people still see Nigeria as an underdeveloped country. Yeah. So, which they think um, we're not actually ripe for some kind of things, some kind of policy, and some kind of steps. Okay. But I feel with time, people will get to understand how so important insurance is. Because, for example, you getting you getting some goods of ostentation, getting some kind of luxury cars and things that you know these things are very expensive. You have to insure it. Yeah. Like every car that get, you have to insure them. You know, in case anything happens to them, you know, I know I'm covered by insurance. So they need to get that mentality, you know, like understand how important insurance policy and company is to everything, even to life itself. Because of the nature of my job, sometimes we be like, okay, you have a show in Ibadan, from Ibadan, going to Abiyakuta, Abiyakuta, going to Ondo, and probably I know this place, you know, there's no how you can get a connecting flight to all these places, you know. I don't, that's why I don't go out alone. I go at least with like two different drivers, someone that can drive very well, give me in a car. So it will be like, uh, yo, please come and help me out. Yeah. So basically, I think what causes a fatigue when you're driving, some people, there are some people that they are fond of driving and drinking. Some people they drink and I mean, they drive and smoke. When you do all those things, you know, it's extra charge your energy. You get, so it brings them out at a pace that it's not supposed to be working. So before you know, you get tired easily and the fatigue comes. So before you know, you know there's a cause of an accident. So that, I'll just say that one has to do with like, you know, Make sure you don't drink and drive. Make sure you don't smoke and drive. Make sure you don't overstress yourself or work yourself when you want to drive, you know. Okay, before, after everything being done and said, it's your boy CDQ, yeah, yeah, aka what's as you're on the street, aka Wobi. So, yeah, keep watching Auto Expert. My fault, Coach Chow. And that is, you know, also make sure you practice safety when you're driving. You must have this Joshua Mixed by Lion Cape Rooks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What is more important than the assurance of safety when frequenting the Nigerian roads among 7 million others? Do you know that 80% of road accidents are caused by human error while 20% are caused by mechanical faults? How often do you check the vital parts of your vehicle such as the brake system, your lights, tires? Do you even know that tires expire? Are you one of those who thinks insurance never works? All these and much more you will learn on this program, Auto Experts, your guide to safety. Life is actually full of surprises and Nigerians will never cease to amaze us with their outrageous talents and abilities. As we know that acrobatics are in diversities, but this particular one has taken us by surprise. Never had one of its kind in Nigeria and a courageous acrobat had to take the risk. Motorcycle acrobatic has seen revival as new generations, groups and individuals strengthen their ties to keep the practice alive. Benjamin Peters, an indigen of Enugu State, has taken up the lead to take this acrobatic alive. The motorcycle acrobat claimed that he does it for fun and to show for his God-given talent that it is not a magic or diabolical act. He has traveled to several African countries and still counting showing off his rider dexterity and abilities with the classic machines in fairs and festivals. We could see the Nigerians are leaving it and not stopping at one. Benjamin, I'm native of Enugu State. I was born and brought up in Ekiti State, which I started this uh, acrobatics at the age of 13 years with bicycle at Ondo State. Today, I thank God. I cannot say I'm perfect. My God is the only one that's perfect. Nigeria's got talents, and there's no gain saying that you are one of those talents. But one of those good talents that Nigeria can confidently boast of is a creative, forward looking entrepreneur, popularly called Filua. Yes, the Filua Pimp My Ride CEO, whose full identity by name is Alhaji Rashid Omololu Filua. Filua has been in the exclusive motor repair and quality motor body spray business. His exclusivity is a car and vehicle pimp. How? He turns the vehicle into home pleasure on wheels. Fill up in my ride. The first progressive leading vehicle car pimp outfits in Nigeria and Africa has stories of success and testimonies by clients whose hearts have found love and joy in Filua's work. In 2010, Filua pimped a Jeep vehicle to celebrate Nigeria's independence at 50. The special features in the vehicle can best be imagined. The interior, rearranged by Filua, is outlandish. Filoa is celebrating Nigeria's independence by infusing a value-adding step-up in his game of creativity with another special pimped vehicle. The exclusive interior remold, just like your sitting room, is fitted with four LCD TV screens, refrigerator, high-tech woofer leased quality sounds output, mobile cable TV connected receiver DSTV for your global TV viewing on wheels. It's all good, it's all right, ain't it? It's exciting. I love this too. This is truly a Mr. Niger gift to Nigeria at 56. Let's salute creativity as Filua inputs again into your world. Exclusive creativity, that's nature. Nigeria, this is you. Filua, pimp my right, projecting Nigeria to the rest of the world. The universe. that your choice car is a wonderful feeling. When you finally decide to buy that car, many questions come to mind. What kind of car do I want? What kind of car do I need? What kind of car can my money afford? What features am I looking out for? 
Hello viewers, it's your host Latifa Tajao and you're welcome to Auto Monitor. In here we take you through the journey of different brands and models of car and your features. Stay tuned, you will love it. Hi guys, we are back. I told you it's going to be fun. Now this is a Mercedes-Benz C200 2015 model. It was built specially for Nigerian roads. You know what I mean, rugged and strong and fit into any scenario. Let's get in. The interior is beautiful. The seats are made from fine leather for your comfort and style. Now, this car works with a keyless system. You don't have to press the key to let the door open. You don't have to use the key to start. This is how it works. With your key in your pocket, because of the Allen chip, which makes it very sensitive. As long as your key is in your pocket and you move a bit close to the car, the door opens. Wow. And then when you finally get into the car without having to start your car with the key, there act there's actually um, a start button here. But the moment you put your legs on the brake, the car automatically starts. Isn't that amazing? Now, this is the navigation screen. It helps you navigate while driving. It has a radio system. It has the volume where you can increase or reduce the volume of your radio. Now let's come to the steering. The steering has a telephone symbol where you can pick your calls without having to hold your phone in pressing. When you connect your phone to the navigation screen, you can dial the numbers from the screen without having to touch your phone, which means that the car was designed for safety. You know it is very wrong to pick calls while driving, so this helps you. All you need to do is press the phone button and you're talking without holding your phone. Now, to the best part. This car has six airbags. Wow. Like four in the front and two at the back. I told you it was built for safety. Now let's get it. This is a compartment. Here, you can charge your phones, you can connect to your phone and listen to music. The AC is off the hook. It has the back and the front ventilation. You can actually control it from the front and the back, wherever you might be seated in the car. So this car is all round of safety. And the speakers, if you're a very loud music lover, the speakers are loud. You can practically start a party in this car. Yeah, that's not all. The engine, it's a full plug engine, which means it helps you to manage fuel. You know, in Nigeria, we're very fuel consumption conscious. So it's a four plug engine which helps you to manage fuel and is very, very fast. You will love the Mercedes Benz C200. You should not take Kokoyamo and her backside like her on a boat. Ha! This is Auto Expert with Celebrity, and in case you don't know, they call me Sugar Boy. I quite boom G with the scatter scatter. You're welcome. Welcome to Auto Expert News. This is just the beginning of 2018 and it happens to look good for some of our Nigerian artists as they have been able to acquire brand new cars and models which cost a fortune. Let us look at three artists in this category. At number one, David O. The fire crooner got himself a brand new 2018 Bentley after a 30 billion concert in Lagos. This vehicle is estimated at $323,000, which is approximately 113 million naira. At number two, the Aramoko hit maker Harrison acquires a bulletproof car worth 95 million naira. This is a Mercedes Benz SE 350, an early 2018 gift for himself. He shared a video of the ride and captioned, I told y'all it's gonna be a blessed year, yeah? At number 3 is Orisha Femi. To celebrate his birthday in the beginning of the year, he got himself a brand new Pojo 307 convertible. A very sleek ride with futures that are only befitting for a celebrity. Indeed, 2018 is looking really good for our celebrities. For more auto news, follow us on Instagram at Official Auto Expert, on Facebook at Auto Expert Pro and on Twitter at Auto Expert Pro. 
Nigeria has got talents, and there's no gain saying that you are one of those talents. But one of those good talents that Nigeria can confidently boast of is a creative, forward looking entrepreneur, popularly called Filua. Yes, the Filua Pimp My Right CEO, whose full identity by name is Alhaji Rashid Omololu Filua. Filua has been in the exclusive motor repair and quality motor body spray business. His exclusivity is a car and vehicle pimp. How? He turns the vehicle into home pleasure on wheels. Filua Pimp My Ride, the first progressive leading vehicle car pimp outfits in Nigeria and Africa, has stories of success and testimonies by clients whose hearts have found love and joy in Filua's work. In 2010, Filua pimped a Jeep vehicle to celebrate Nigeria's independence at 50. The special features in the vehicle can best be imagined. The interior, rearranged by Filua, is outlandish. Filoa is celebrating Nigeria's independence by infusing a value-adding step-up in his game of creativity with another special pimped vehicle. The exclusive interior remold, just like your sitting room, is fitted with four LCD TV screens, refrigerator, high-tech woofer leased quality sounds output, mobile cable TV connected receiver DSTV for your global TV viewing on wheels. It's all good. It's all right, ain't it? It's exciting. I love this too. This is truly a Mr. Niger gift to Nigeria at 56. Let's salute creativity as fill your inputs again into your world. Exclusive creativity. That's nature. Nigeria, this is you. Filua Pimp My Right, projecting Nigeria to the rest of the world, the universe. happiness since 1970. I honestly cannot overemphasize the importance of having an auto insurance cover. It should be like the air you breathe, utterly necessary to stay alive, to thrive and to survive. My name is Oyinola Larekbe and it's my utmost delight to welcome you to another astounding episode of Auto Insurance on Auto Experts. Today we have a standing figure in the insurance world and it's no other person but Alex Anaba the National Retail Manager, General Business of Leadway Assurance Company. There's a lot of things that we overlook that are not necessary. You think it's not necessary, but when the time comes for it, you're like, wow, thank God I did that. So I, I think it's very necessary. Auto insurance is very necessary. Okay, so good to have you on our program. How are you, thanks? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Wonderful, you look good. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, um, can you tell us about Leadway Peak and Pay Motor Insurance? The Leadway Peak and Pay Motor Insurance is right. an acronym okay. for the Leadway Auto Plan. Okay. Uh, this is basically a plan that has variance. It ranges from 3.5, uh, 3%, 3.5, 4%, 4.5 okay. in terms of the summer show. So it's designed to actually accommodate the economic entries of people. Some people might desire to have more comprehensive motor insurance and they're telling us, hey, Leadway, we can't do 4.5. So with the Leadway Pick and Pay, it's easier. It recognizes your own economic entry and you can easily have the best cover from Leadway. At pocket friendly rates. Let's use the word. Pocket, pocket friendly. friendly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, we hear about excesses. How does that apply to Ooh. these plans? When you talk about excess in insurance, is just an insurance terminology that actually uh, allow people to exercise some level of caution is it, actually introduced into policy to tell policyholders to exercise some level of discretion. That you have an insurance does not mean you should be careless on the road. So what SS is can also be linked scripturally to be like, don't take the grace of God for lasciviousness. 
that you have God's grace on you, don't be careless. The same way if you have comprehensive motor insurance from Libya Insurance Company or any insurance company as the case may be, SS in insurance is just saying, look, don't get careless on the road because you have insurance. Don't go bashing people deliberately because you have an insurance. So that SS is the price of caution. That is the first charge you bear in the event of, a, of an auto crash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, a car has been insured for the same value each year. Or how does it work? Okay. Basically, in practice, uh, there should be a review in terms of uh, motor vehicle value. Uh, depreciation will be setting it. So if you buy a car, say, for 100000 this year, immediately the car hits the road, the value starts dropping. So it's expected that during the second year of uh, insurance, the value should have dropped by a certain percentage, and the impact on your premium is that your premium too drops. Okay, so um, how many percent is that exactly? Ah, basically, we use about 10%. Okay. About 10% of the value is depreciated. Okay, so at a point you get um, to 0%, you know, 10%, 10% for then 10 years and then 0%. Yes, the BFP, you can say, does not qualify for insurance. That's what they normally use in practice by saying a vehicle has hit book value of zero. So you can now dispose of. Okay, okay. Yeah. What happens then? At that time, that vehicle is not worth insuring. Wow. So you can now scrap it. Wow. And then after than you the insurance company covers that? Definitely. Mm, that's yeah. new info, wonderful juicy info. <laughs> okay, so um, that's how far we can go for today yeah. on today's episode of Also Insurance. Thank you so much. Thank You've you been so much, wonderful Anita. as usual. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. Um, yes. thanks so much for watching today's Auto Insurance segment on Auto Expert, brought to you by Lidia Assurance, insuring happiness since 1970. Hope you've learned a lot because I honestly have learned so much. You know, um, insurance is really juicy. You know, much more juicier than we actually thought. Okay then, enjoy the rest of the program. Did you know that using the wrong engine oil can actually knock your car engine? Are you in the habit of buying cheaper oils or neglecting manufacturer specifications? Did you know that all models of vehicles have different oil specifications? To know more about vehicle lubrication and lubricants, watch your best rated automobile and safety TV program or to expats showing on digital and terrestrial TV. To get times and stations, follow us on Facebook at Auto Expert Pro, on Instagram at Official Auto Expert and on Twitter at Auto Expert Pro. Transportation is a very popular in developed countries. Some people even go as far as leaving their personal cars at home and using the train because of its comfort, cheap rail, and of course, a leisure. A proper working railway system in Nigeria will go a long way in decongesting our roads. The ongoing Lagos Ibada Rail Project, which is to commence from the Apapa Port in Lagos to Ibada, this is the second segment of the sixth segment of the rail project in Nigeria. We cannot wait for the rebirth of a proper railway system in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Auto Expert. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Auto Expert Pro. You can also like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter at Auto Expert Pro. You can also follow us on Instagram at Official Auto Expert. I am Latifat Ajao. Keep watching Auto Expert with your guide to your safety. And remember, safety is always the main priority. Have a lovely, lovely day.